Uh, so what what do you think we have learned in 20, 30 years of of using something standard? Because I think that's the, the value of it, right? A lot of people have used it, standardized it, and uh, statistically it makes sense. It's now of officially mandatory by EU states to yeah. use it. So we're now getting uh, a, a wealth of information that's comparable, that's consistent. Uh, you know, what have we learned and what is the next boundary, do you think, in all of this? Now, what you didn't mention also comes with it. We have long time series. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, we have long time series that help us understand climate change, help us understand resource exhaustion, help us understand social inequality or international inequality be between countries. So it is just a, uh, a set of, of data or a set of indicators that can be used for many purposes. And of course, nowadays we see, I mean, 20 years ago, we thought we'd just better uh, be more friendly towards our environment and take care not to poison our, our forests and so on. But now we have a much more dramatic situation. We see it much more fundamentally. And so we need long-term indicators and insights on, uh, on proportions that need mm. to change uh, that this kind of statistics delivers. And this you find in no other statistics practically. And, it's, and that it is in physical units is so good because this is comprehensible to anybody non-American. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I see you still have a beef with uh, with Americans. <laughs> um, no, I've been at Yale University and introduced that there, and they were very friendly, welcoming me, and so on. So it's not all Americans, okay. <laughs>